G'day. Today's video is about Mapillary. Uh, if you're interested in uh, artificial intelligence and self-driving cars, here's something that you can actually do to help. So Mapillary uh, crowdsourcing images to create a visual map of the world using computer vision. Um, it uses street level imagery. I'm using the smartphone app today, but you can use GoPros, other camera systems, even 360 degree cameras uh, to capture imagery. And anyone can do it. You can be driving, riding a bike, walking, uh, capturing images, it'll, it's all going to work. Uh, it's similar to Street View, uh, but the images are then um, processed and the data extracted and it's used to enhance mapping platforms like OpenStreetMap and other open data initiatives. And they also make the information available through APIs. Um, like I said at the start, the the use that really interests me though is that this data source is used by companies to train and improve the AI for self-driving cars. In addition to extracting information like traffic signs and pedestrian crossings, uh, they also capture other street assets like public seating, rubbish bins, street lights. It's all really useful information for city authorities, app developers and artificial intelligence engineers. So we'll just finish off uh, this drive and then we'll show you the finished product in uh, Mapillary Online. Uh, this area I'm driving today is called East Point. Um, people who have been here or you might be interested to know, in World War II Darwin came under aerial bombardment 77 times over about I think 18 months, something like that. Uh, and this area, East Point, has some really significant military history uh, historic buildings and it's now home to the Darwin Military Museum and also the Defence of Darwin experience. So if you're here visiting it's really great, worth having a look. I'll include some links below. So let's finish off this drive and then we'll have a look at the um, at Maple Area Online. Okay, so here we are on the Mapillary homepage and I've taken all those images that I captured and uploaded those and I've given them some time to process. And now we're going to click on Explore and uh, we're going to have a look at uh, what we captured. So here you can see Mapillary is used all around the world. There's a, you know, green dots everywhere. Um, here we are in Australia and particularly here we are right up at the top of Australia in Darwin. So just zooming in on that site, you can see all these green lines. So myself and others here have been capturing imagery, uh, but here we are at East Point. So this is the, the drive that you've just watched the video on. You can see I actually did a couple of passes both ways on the road. So we've got um, imagery from both directions. Uh, you can click on each individual dot and here you can see in the corner you know those individual images um, you can uh, pan the map around and jump to any point and uh, zoom in on those and here's that image there and I'll just pick uh, something a little bit further up Now you can also switch the uh, uh, map with the imagery. So this is probably pretty familiar in a street view type thing, um, view, but you can click on play and, and play through the drive. You can see here we're coming up to some signage. So the Mapillary engine would see that sign, would see the speed bump here, and would record its location and some uh, data about that. Here we're coming up where there's some other vehicles, other signage. Might just stop it here. So here's 
a really interesting site for AI and self-driving. There's bollards on the left-hand side of the road. There's a deep culvert in the middle. Um, and for city planners, though, things like street lights are captured, all those sorts of things. So um, that's pretty much the, uh, the extent of today's video in terms of Mapillary. Uh, here's some quick um, stats, I suppose, on our, on our uh, contributions we've made so far. And, and here's the areas that we want to do a bit more down around Palmerston and, and other areas of Darwin. Uh, but it's something that everyone can do and um, as well as it being good mapping information it does help with AI and self-driving and things like that. So thanks for watching. Um, if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like it, subscribe to our channel and uh, see you later from Australia.